Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. There's a fundamental concept I've been wanting to touch on for some time now. What on the atomic level causes an electric arc to be hot? And even though I don't smoke, I do have an awesome new device we can use to demonstrate this episode's concepts. The Incredible Arc Lighter. So I'm not gonna lie, these things are really cool. They're basically pocket high voltage, which for somebody like me gets me a little excited. But as the name suggests, they are still lighters, which means they use heat to burn. But what exactly causes that heat? Like on the molecular level, though they're both intertwined, we do know that traditionally current is what creates heat, not voltage. This is one of the reasons why power lines run at such high voltages. By upping the voltage and lowering the current respectively, tremendous amounts of energy can be transported without losing too much of it to heat. Really, it's brilliant. We can thank Tesla for that. But then we've got our arc lighters. They're high voltage and low current, but still produce a lot of heat. But according to my last example, shouldn't they not be hot? That's the trick. There are two elements to the production of heat, current and electrical resistance. When the two meet, you get the power loss law, which is composed of current and resistance. It dictates how much energy is lost due to pure heat, and the air they have to conduct through is tremendously high in resistance. That means all power goes into heat. Keep in mind the lighter produces a perpetual spark, not just a single one. As soon as this spark is formed, it ionizes the gas molecules, creating a conductive plasma. In this plasma, energy from the supplied electrons is dispersed rapidly to the heavier gas ions through collisions, due to electrons' massive numbers and their great mobility. Despite the ionization and electron flow going through the plasma channel, the collisions create a natural resistance, and it is this electrical resistance within the channel that creates the initial heat. That heat further increases collisions, which then increases heat, which increases collisions. It's quite perpetual you eventually reach an equilibrium point where the energy going into the arc is the same as the energy leaving the arc as heat, thus creating a constant hot arc, also known as a channel of plasma. And that plasma reaches thousands of degrees. I bet I lost about 50% of you guys on that one. But seriously, arc lighters are fascinating. They're essentially a handheld device that causes molecular collisions. How cool is that? Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to watch our numerous other episodes. You stay classy, Seattle.